Skies are clear. Heading to hey guys, Tarrant here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Torrente. I'm today spawning in the south. We've got Dirk Radix with US forces immediately going airborne and air dropping in a machine gun to the center of the map. Teaming up with him is Janko with the Brits Indian Artillery. On the north, we've got Iron Fist. Africa Corps unselected currently. And Insanity with Wehrmacht unselected. Hopefully, kissing start. In terms of rankings, um, both the Allies rank 14 with their respective factions. I think Insanity was around 18, maybe? And I think Iron Fist was like 45. Slight rankings edge towards the Allies. Looks like I was trying to get into the building there, but it's a fast Panzer Green jumping into an aggressive position. IP ahead of us, get a formation. Leaving that machine gun camped inside the church there. The second machine gun dropping right out the back here could be a bit of a power drop flank. Cook in with that. Gun doesn't quite have heavy cover. Just going to jump in behind. Bit smoke out from the scouts. Early smoke from Dirk Radix. Taking into the utility package fast. And the Grandies eventually jump out of the building there. Kissing out on the corner. Not up to much. He's pushing in. Initiating mechanized support upgrades. Oh. Oh. Building fire here. No windows on that side, it looks like. Rick is slowly advancing down here. Engineers capping on the edge. Looks like the Kesson switching over to the other side, looking for some easy territory. on the run here. Ooh, scouts forgot about and they go down in the middle. And oh boy, that died really fast. The machine guns started dropping all of a sudden. Got a bazooka squad from Dirk Radix, so he's going for weapon support center. Maybe going hunting for the Kesson with that. I mean, if you can get that bazooka up to vet 1 when it gets that phosphorus, it's pretty good, but for them, not going to be very useful against the infantry. This is power drop up the power drop, bring in a uh, paratrooper this time around. Janko, meanwhile, one of his two sections for uh, taking up. Looks like. A bit slow on the fuel though. Oh, has locked into Indian artillery, so maybe gonna go for the heavy mortar. Just got the command points for it now. Heavy mortars yep. are available. Okay, that's what he's banking for. Sanity has gone for two machine guns Mortal and uh, mortar. Ready. Finally, Iron Fist, just three Panzer Greens gone for healing. Over on the earlier side. Proximity alarm near victory point. Take the machine guns on the ground floor, so that heavy cover will actually be uh, helping out quite a lot there. The enemy has taken a victory on the top floor. Uh, completely ruined the pea green. So a bit of friendly fire from his teammates. Mortar there. Good flame throw action.
bringing up the med truck to assist with this. Looks like it's going pretty well at the moment for Iron Fist. Oh, the 40 sprint flank. Oh, this bazookas just cannot gain any of it. He doesn't have healing for them either, which is a little bit awkward since they're so low on health. Kissing going into recon mode here. Help the uh, mortar find its targets. And here comes the Pulsant. A little bit slow. Maybe the command points were a touch on the slower side for Janko, so. Pulsant also arriving. Oh, on the later side, machine gun in the middle gets decrewed and stolen. And uh, going to make use of his teammate's med truck. Reinforcing here. And here comes the quad. That's also a little bit on the late side. The Dirk Radix. Like you can get this at about, you know, two minutes earlier than this, about 4.30, if you're really on it. Getting a few good hits there. Territory lost. The grenade there not doing the most damage, unfortunately, with the retreat bonus and the damage cap. Okay, Panzerjäger 250 coming across. Let's have the uh, paratrooper there for maybe get out on G fire to help against 250. Make sure that the uh, quad gets away safely. Could even consider maybe going for a bit of a bait. Try to draw the 250 down here and maybe put the bazooka around the corner. The mortar getting involved now. Coming in from the side. A lot of access units in this tiny area. Hold there from the allies. Transport loaded up and ready to make a pass. And the T gunner now from Janko. So far, the Panjagas haven't really found the vehicle targets. Seems like they're posting him a lot of trouble shooting a lot of shots into the walls here. The axis are a little bit behind on victory points at this stage. Gorka rifles have been Ooh. brought up to the front. The barrage here. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. The beggars are threatening a great hit from the mortar. Quad opening up 250 with its rear armor or side armor showing there. Took a lot of damage in that short burst. Vet one on the CMP now, so it can use a suppressing mode. Lost. The enemy has control. Just in general, it does give you a reload bonus as well. This is rate of fire there. In terms of the rate that the shots actually come out, it's not an improvement. Buffs up the reload slightly. So we can pop it in our anti-vehicle applications as well. Infantry are standing by to deploy. Any fire support is more than welcome. Okay, he's uh, used a mid craze. Just laying his healing. Oh no, bit of friendly fire from his own mine, I think. Combined up with the AT, got the pulse and down. Taking a few grenades here. My troop is doing alright, AT gun pushing up on the quad next. Gets away. Right on the edge of the range. Yeah, the axe is really grouping up in this area. We've got the Stummel from Insanity. This is quite late. Again, a lot of players getting their light vehicles 
heavily delayed and there goes a Panzer Pio. Sat in front of the Gurkhas from Janko. Which tool could actually be quite good. The uh don't have the best counters to it at the moment. Pretty fast cooldown on the barrage on this as well, so. Enemy forces are converging at a fuel point. Might as well use it pretty much Defend every time you encounter point. a team weapon. Enemy activity near our munitions point. So heavy water going. Enemy vet two. Nine kills, including one vehicle. I'm guessing it's a 250 it killed. Just did out the back there, didn't notice that. Ooh. Yeah, that Stummel was getting the job done. I think he went for the, yeah, the Vet 1 as well. From uh, the Panzer Grenadier Company. Commander, we've lost a sector. Gonna build some Panzer Grenadiers after that. Point is at the enemy. Dirk Radix has gone Territory for the 75 mil. M3, good counter to the Stummel. And his barrage is not too shabby either. You've got the recontractor now for Iron Fist. The beggars are threatening a capture point. Six man Panzer Greens as well. It's a 75 mil. Got a barrage away the machine gun, it looks like. We have reserves of infantry available to both. We are lining up yet. The artillery from the recontractor dropped in. Pretty quick dodge, but do a lot of damage. Stummel up the sides. All defenders. Tough to dislodge. The AT gun pushed up on the 75 mil. And he knocks it out. It's the vision from the kitten. We're losing a Means he's point. not safe out the back there. No reaction as well. Bad from Dirk Radix. Oh yes, just that kitten. Now Vet 3 with the little super long range vision. There's nowhere to hide. What's going to come up, but the AT gun has pushed, so he's got to be careful. The mod axe is going to sneak their way down onto this victory point. They're looking to turn up the pressure. They're still out behind by about, you know, 50 ish points. And he's now on all these Panzer Greens. Some air burst out the back, doing quite a lot of damage to the mid truck. To here to provide vision. Heavy heavy mortar out. Has been destroyed. One of ours. Heavy mortar out the back has gone down to the MP40 Green Deers. We're hoping to get this as well. Not going to happen. Did I mention the pulse and go now? I think I might have missed it. I don't even know what put the kill on it either. A fuel point is being overrun. The allies are really under a lot of pressure, the Axis. And, uh, overwhelming them at this phase, that 75mm M3 didn't Airbus really accomplish too much. Perhaps a little bit behind. If we make a nice support center. I mean, you know, support center is fine, and, you know, even though you could go for the M3 and then upgrade them if you want to spend your munitions on paratrooper LMGs. For instance, then building them straight up, even though they cost a little bit more, can be an option. It's going to more up front, but save your munis for other purposes. It's decent, but at this stage, the has a huge amount of munitions. So he's maybe saving for the carpet bombing, and that will break down the Axis positioning. 
Francis have been branching up to this side as well. We've got what you need. There's so much vision from the recontractor and the kitten. The enemy is winning this making it difficult for the allies. Uh, some pretty uh, you know wide vision lines open on this side of the map. It's difficult to overcome. Maybe uh, it's some smoke. Let's have a smoke bombing run. There's 50 munitions, so it's quite expensive for just to smoke. I think the equivalent in Code 2 costs 40 in that uh, also kind of gave you recon as well. And here we go, carpet bombing out the back here. Quite deep. Way off time to the it's going to be. Looks like it took down the recon tractor. Lost a few movements. Got a Crusader now for Janko. Hellcat has been completed. And a Hellcat for Dirk Radix. There's some foot guards coming in from Janko as well. Oh. Bazooka's there for Dirk. Oh, but he went for sprint. He didn't go for the phosphorus. Here comes the Crusader. Pushes a T gun up to join in on the fun and knocks that martyr out real fast. Nicely done there by Janko. Got backing away here. Rolls the Hellcat. It's going to come in for a bit of a move here. Maybe the Allies looking to double team. Only one AT gun for insanity and doesn't have any snaring units either. It's cold feet. It's nice to back away. Commander, we should spend our munitions. That's our number, boys. With that Hellcat, not up to much though. Second AT gun on the field now for insanity. So he's back away. Gonna need some repairs. Looks like he's got two squads coming in. Still hasn't gone for the mid tin, by the way. It's using the mid crates. We got bombs with Jerry's name on them. Another reason why he's got so much munitions as well. That's interesting, you know. The casualty system. It's just so good going for the mid tent. Okay, copper bombing coming down again. The smoke was down here. I think they wiped anything. The enemy has 300 points remaining. Nearly took out the kitten. Our the advantage is ours. Strike Two now. Two coming in. We've got a Panzer three as well from Iron Fist. We have 300 points. Confirm. Order confirmed. Oh. Oh, the kitten did go down to the Hellcat. I was like, what? what? I, was, I thought the Hellcat was using its high explosive mode. I was really confused. But no, this is the kitten exploding. Okay, I think that's the anti tank launcher coming in here. So we're trying to get away. Still probably going to take a second pass here. That was a weird... Oh, it got shot down. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> it was lucky. That might have been the end of the Crusader there otherwise. Oh, yeah, nice side effect of keeping the quad alive for so long. Now it can serve as anti-air and shot that loiter down pretty fast. The second plane didn't even... You know, got shot down halfway through the second pass. So, you know, anti-air showing its strength. Got against each one of those losers, definitely worth having in these team games. Oh, we've got Sherman out for Dirk Radix. Hellcat's coming in from the side, finds the mid truck. He spotted it with the flare. And his teammates heavy mortar. 
knocks that out. Looks like a recon recontractor. Three command points available. Maybe. One of our sectors is now in enemy hands. I'll clear some rounds here. It's a quad low. Oh, quad, what are you doing? Luckily, the machine gun retreated before it fired its next burst and might have been able to knock that out, and that would have been quite nice. Force the Allies to rebuild the anti air. So we've got 59 for Dirk Radix, 73 for Janko, 68 and 57. So actually, pretty similar army sizes all around. T guns, Dirk Radix, quite slow reacting, gets out of there though. I think the Hellcat's got nice acceleration. Oh, we uh, super long range vision assisting these AT guns anymore now that Kesson's gone down, so it's definitely helping Dirk a lot. And here we go, two Crusaders coming in from the side, the Panzer III background the area. We've got the Marta coming in. Papa bombing out the back. Crusaders in some trouble. The guards rolling up. And they find the uh, recontractor. Oh, can't quite get it. Meanwhile, the Hellcat and the Sherman come in from the other side. Oof. Great move there from Dirk Radix. They really put Iron Fist in the blender. Looks like uh, Sherman, no, gonna survive 2 HP. Oh, that will be a tragedy. Machine gun goes down on the side to the naval effort. It is going to look for the Faust. Oh, the Fausting model just kept dying. He couldn't fire the Faust. Oh my goodness, Dirk Radix. What an escape. 2 HP. Absolute heartbreak. Well, the Axis there. Didn't mention it, but they did get a couple resource caches down. The Axis. Oh boy. What thought it was safe behind the building. Wow. That's unfortunate. And it's going to open the planes back up for the Axis now. Look, see where Iron Fist is. Yeah, he's pretty close to being able to bring them in as well in terms of munis. They got that muni cash. Good income, the Axis. Sadly, meanwhile, saving for the Tiger. Quite, you know, just about there in terms of command points, but quite far off in terms of resources. The air burst out the back. Finds a decrease in the warfare. Got the BL 5.5 now kicking in. Janko. But it's not going to be super effective since he did go for the uh, heavy mortar instead of the artillery saturation. So fewer shells and after all the nurse, the BL 5.5. It's like now it's just like okay. Only good when you got those extra shells. Our tankers have finished their wheels and not a moment too soon. Three more to those, still doing well. Fresh pens are three out for Iron Fist. Still quite a lot of repairs required on those two Crusaders out the back. The contractor finds the support weapons and the Neville for coming in as well. A couple of shots from the foot guards. Incendiary bombing run down there. Engineers die out the back here. How? How did the Neville I thought it was targeting here and then more shells were landing out the back. Carpet bombing coming down, quick on the dodge is insanity. Machine gun retreating through that area gets caught. And then the BL 5.5 smashes the decrew weapon. 
This Tiger store is costing the Axes a lot right now. Majorly on the defensive. Recruiting to do out the back there. Democratics. Okay, went for first strike. I've been having quite a lot of success with high explosive myself lately, but maybe it's more of a 1v1 kind of thing. First strike might be uh, more useful against the tiger once that arrives. Tractor artillery down. Quick dodge though. Still repairing those crusades out the back, Janko, after losing. Oh, missed a shot. Here come the planes. Hellcat misses. Oh, it's still alive. Is that friendly fire from the planes knocking it out? God, this Hellcat has missed so many shots. Oof, there goes one Sherman. And the three's coming across, but the two Crusades are here. And just blast that Panzer three out of existence. No anti-air, so the planes are getting a lot of value. But the AT guns did get forced all the way back. One extra volley, the Sherman hanging on there at 21 HP. I think it's going to be fine now, it's far enough though. I don't think it'll take another pass. Get another close call for Dirk Rags, so this Sherman escaping on 21 HP now. Of despair when that happens. <laughs> Enemies tanks keep getting away on nothing. Get a fresh paratrooper squad as well, Dirk Radix. Still spamming those crates. Invest a lot of manpower into all these copper bombs. Some of the axe is back, but and there wasn't much going on during that one. Pretty easy dodge for the axis. Bazooka shells in there. He goes with uh, Vet 3 doing very well in that fight. Didn't even pop the uh, Vet 1 ability. German engineering. Yeah, Axis now what? down by 110 VPs. Where's that Tiger? Where's that Tiger from Insanity? He's. Enemy have 300 points left. Oh, he spent some of his points into the incendiary bombing run, so he delayed the command points on us. Oh, that's what's we going on. The enemy has only oh, left. that was a bad choice. We yeah, have five, five out the back here as well. I think it's really, it hasn't hit anything. How is that possible? Did destroy the uh, decrewed machine gun earlier. We saw that. Doesn't count. Is not really doing too much. Okay, Tiger finally here for insanity. That's what the Axis have been waiting for. Turning point, potentially. Two points up to 64, Janko 87 versus 88 for Insanity and 39 for Iron Fist. He's been losing a lot of his vehicles. Not decent infantry, but keeps losing his recontractors and his defense threes. And here we go. Just stop these uh, Crusaders. And no escape for the P Greens. Tigers on the field, backed up by the double AT guns. Missing a lot of its shots off to a bad start there. Be careful, could take double AT nades on this martyr. 
have engine crit now. Commander, we should spend our munitions. Must just be out of sight range. Nice T crew on the Allied AT gun though, and looks like they're gonna try kill that off. Oh, got a little bit too close with that Marta. Comes yet another Kappa Boeing. This one might be a bit tougher to dodge. T-Gun. Explosive rounds there from the Sherman. Oh no. Didn't get away far enough with that Marta. This one. I think it was uh, self repairing itself, maybe, and still has an engine crit. Point, now under enemy control. Has this still got zero kills? That's unbelievable. Double AT guns combining up, Sherman getting low. And there it goes, Sherman picked off. Last kill there, Tiger's armor. Bouncing a lot of shots as well. Popping uh, the capture rate bonus here, gonna sprint into the VP. 65 points left for the Axis, the Tiger is helping. Recon flare out the back, who's dodging away with the AT guns. They have to come back in though to assist the Tiger against the Hellcat. Panzerine's doing their best to three on one. Tiger's hitting pretty hard. Sherman coming in from the side. AT guns lining up here. Sherman has to back away, but so do the P Greens. Oh, anti tank planes coming in on the far side. If they target this Crusader, it could go down in the next pass. He deployed a 250. What was that target? Oh, Crusader, 11 HP. Lucky break here again for, for the Allies. Oh my god, he just took two passes outside of the circle. Two full double passes outside of the circle. My god. Please, I hope they fix that in the next patch. Unbelievable. To be so far away from the circle for you to not take more passes. It's crazy. Both tanks down now. That's exactly what the Axis needed to get back into this game because it was looking a bit shaky. The Tiger has been doing well, but especially on Iron Fist side of the map, he was getting beat up. Coming for an assault here, 250 calling. What's that? It's a Crusader. Three. Great assault in. Good dodge though on the machine gun. Okay, smoke out there from Dirk Radix. DL 5.5 coming out in the middle as well. I guess healthy again though. Be trouble. Not upgrading some of these paratroopers, is it? Look at that shot from the Tiger Man. Already 16 kills. I think it's 17. Two vehicles destroyed. Seems just so, so much damage. It actually ends up beating up like fucks of any units in the game. Okay, 17 pound on the field for Janko though. Oh, and he snipes that martyr off long range. Dude, slow backing away. Pushing in here with the Tiger, 17 pounder could rotate though. With the Pyos providing some vision and sweeping. They were for now targeting, the 17 pounder's in some trouble. To try and tow it. Away to safety, but the axis pouncing. Oh, the tiger didn't get a clean hit. 
is going to get away with it. That was a really lucky break. I don't think that was a full damage shot from the Tiger. Now get speeding. Oh, some Team Pounder sits back down here. Try to heal through it all. Shaman. Trying to stay mobile, trying to avoid the Tiger double AT gun formation. That's a decent idea. Allies might have to look to this VP though. He's gone for the capture rate bonus on the paratroopers, so that, look how fast they're capping that. I usually go for camouflage myself, but, you know, you went for like Pathfinders early on and you lost all of them. Later on going for capture can be quite nice as well. Yep, paratroopers get the cap off. The double AT guns just lighting up the Hellcat. Where are these paratroopers going? They're trying to get a satchel off or something, but they're putting their lives at risk. Tiger didn't chase, and here comes the BL 5.5. Gets a bit of damage in, finally. Crusader looking to come in from the side, but... Does not go to plan. Gets found by the Panzer three. Oh, but the Panzer three misses the kill shot. 17 pounder pushed all the way in here. Got really aggressive. Tiger now hiding behind the building. Straight bonus active on the P greens. Okay, making a move, but there's a second Panzer three waiting out the back here. Luckily, the wall stopping this P3 from firing. So the Hellcat able to get out of there. Worth it down again, but nice mobility on the 17 pounder gets away. More repairs required now for Dirk Radix. B1 points left for the Axis. Seems like they're in the driver's seat right now. Ever since those double crusaders went down, the Allies have been uh, in some major trouble. They're okay, making use We're of the Ayo Gokali. Pounders around the corner can't contribute in this fighting. Imagine the building getting extremely low here though. If you forgot about it. it, seems like the squad is actually having trouble targeting the machine gun. Shooting from the side, I wonder if this wall blocks their vision. That's strange. It's up going down. Edge. Don't avoid that Tiger. Nearly V3 on that. We're losing a captain. Two guns. Quite low in health. Could get decrewed quickly if they uh, are exposed. Yeah, this thing has not done anything for Janko. This BL 5.5. Decent hit there finally for the PR 5.5. Our troopers with camouflage assisting. Oh, into tank planes coming in. Will Janko get away this time round? I think this crusade is still going to take a second pass, so I don't think so. Unfortunate. Oh, and he's driving his two tanks right next to each other again. Do not do that. Oh, the Hellcats get the Tiger really low. Where's he going with this? One more shot and the Tiger's down. Oh, the bombing one! Huge carpet bomb. Tiger down, double AT guns decrease. Double Panzer threes coming in here. No, is he, he's got a command Panzer IV there. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Does Einfist not have snares? No, he does. Enemy 
Why didn't he throw them there? Did he not have munitions for it? No, he had munitions. He had double AT grenades and he could have killed that Sherman there. I don't know what he was doing. Red Panzer 3 speeding over to the side. Could go down to double AT grenades itself here though. If uh, Janko doesn't have any munitions, so just gonna take the one. And here come the foot guards though for the follow up. 31 points left for the Axis. But they have managed to sneak down onto this VP. Nine tank over here for Iron Fist. I think he's on armor piercing though. So it's not working out too well against the Vet 3 foot guards. He nearly dies. Trying to jump on this VP, but too badly outnumbered. Sherman extremely low. Double AT guns have been recruit. Oh, why did he activate the tactical advance there? Maybe he misclicked. Maybe he's trying to activate the smoke grenade or something. I don't know. It's strange. Okay, Panzer 3 for insanity now. Got the new workers are a little bit exposed. Panzer 4 versus Crusader. They managed to force the squads off here. Panzer 4 just focused on the Crusader. Probably could have knocked it out though. Capping out the back with the Paras. Good number of tanks now for Dirk Radix. We're down to 200 points. Hey. Okay, don't have anything capping over here at the moment, the allies. We've got what you need. Let's start stacking those crowds up. Down again. Look alive. Orders incoming. Three kills. Took a long time to get them though. Supplies drop down here. Got Push of these AT guns, get some low. Here comes the carpet bomb. The Panzer fours making a bit of a move, and they're bringing in the anti tank planes. The Axis. Rick Rex needs to get out of here and fast. Machine gun goes down to the carpet bomb. And there's one Sherman. Still in the circle. Don't think they've got vision. Oh. Oh no, this is not going well for Dirk Radix. He's really slow to get out of the circle from these anti-tank planes. I think the Hellcat's going to go down to them here. Yep. Very slow evac from the circle. Probably shouldn't have taken another pass there because of, you know, vision and outside you know, the circle and whatnot. But game as they are. I'm surprised the Allies didn't rebuild the anti-air. Maybe Dirk Rax forgot to uh, do it since most of them were targeting his teammate. Oh, the Allies getting low on VPs. Dirk Rax down to 57 now. I think it was at 78 just before. 93 for Janko. Sanity also at 93 though. He's got a big army. And Iron Fist up to 59, so maybe the Axis now slightly larger armies overall. Oh, engineers go down. It's weird, I think sometimes when you give like repair orders to your units and your tank starts driving away, it feels like your engineers are still very vulnerable for an extremely long period of time in this game. 
Got the incendiary bombing coming in, I think. Just dodging it easily. Royal Engineers on the field. We're losing ammunition. Crusaders lighting up the Pegrins. Did he knock out the cash? He didn't even with that BL 5.5 barrage. The crew's 1AT gun here going to try to steal away the machine gun. Not successful, but here comes the Hellcat. But the 17 pounder up here as well. The Panzer 3 goes down fast. Double Crusaders coming in from the side, but they get a little bit of cold feet. If, they, if he just made the move here, that was GG for the Allies. This is random team action though, not the best coordination sometimes. The Hellcat just sitting in a T gun range here. Ends up going down. Big mistake there from Dirk Radix. Guards though, pounding down these units. It's a decrew on one Nebel Werfer. Just about got the AT gun as well. Shim's going to come through and destroy the weapons. But a bit of a move coming in on this side. Okay, he's pretty well defended down here. 71 points. Now 70 for the Allies. Comes back with the foot guards to cap. Oh, oh, command tank. And now the Crusaders speeding forwards. Marta spins around for them. That's three hanging in there. The one Crusader goes down. The Hellcat just completely left the area. If it could have come in from the side, knocked this out. Is it going down to the Crusader? But now the Crusader might fall. Double snares. Oh! Took it out just in the nick of time. Ends up going down to a grenade himself. What's running from the Axis? He's in here, desperately capping. But the uh, power is holding strong. And uh, that's the GG. They're on the run. Smashing work. More play. Yeah, it was an interesting tactic from Dirk Rex, just spamming those planes. Uh, seem to go all right, you know, the carpet bombing. A few of them rather impactful, a few of them not so impactful, but yeah, no mid tents into uh, just mass supply drop call -ons. It was all right, especially, you know, that Axis had that camp going close to the church for such a long time. Of course, the Allies quite a few issues through there, but as soon as the carpet bombing started to roll through, it was another story. Do you think insanity though, making a big mistake going for the incendiary bombing, delayed his tiger by quite a lot, spending all those command points, and that hurt the Axis because they were really getting beat up during that time when he was stalling for the tiger. That hurt them quite badly. Ultimately, it was the planes from Ironfist though that kept the Axis in this. You know, as soon as those double crusaders went down, the Allies were in massive trouble, and the planes just time and time again got kill after kill. I think, you know, sometimes the Allies are a bit slack on the dodging. Getting out of the circle slowly, not getting far enough out of the circle as well to stop the bugged planes from targeting you for multiple passes outside of the circle. Unfortunately, that's still a thing, but, you know, they could have dodged away further as well to maybe avoid some of that. And not rebuilding the anti-air, I think, was a mistake. But, you know... <laughs> Here we go. They both have options, you know, the Poston or the Quad. Either one of them could have got it and uh, would have won the game a lot faster if they had, but there you go. That's hindsight after all. GG, well played. Uh, allies end up coming out on top. Good back and forth action in this one. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like a good game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Oh, I think I'll... Uh, let this run out for another 10 seconds so I don't have to re-encode it.